Timothy woke up every morning feeling his weight of his weaknesses. He was skinny and weak, lacking the drive to do anything productive. Instead of rising with determination, he would mope around, complaining about his lack of strength and discipline. The bullies at school took advantage of its insecurities, picking on him for being an easy target. On the other side, there was Apollo, an imposing figure with bulging muscles and an air of unshakable confidence. People gathered around by him, fascinated by his presence. Which one do you choose? Habit number one for building muscle as a skinny guy is HIIT training, high intensity training. And this was first introduced by Arthur Jones, Mike Mentzer, and then made massive by Dorian Yates, the Mr. Olympia. Now, the way high intensity training or HIIT training differs from normal three sets of 10 or high volume training is that you do one set of each exercise, but push to maximal effort to beyond failure. So you might have five exercises. You might be training legs, squat, leg extension, hack squat, deadlift, leg curl. And what you'll do on each of these exercises is have two or three warm-up sets. I call them feeler sets. So you'll do one with just the bar, another set with maybe 50% of your max, and then one getting primed. But then your last set on each exercise, starting off with the squat, you will go to failure. If you can do six reps with that 150 kilo or whatever, then you go for the seventh, then the eighth, then on the ninth, get your training partner to assist you. It's all about cheat reps, drop sets, until you physically cannot do that exercise anymore for any real um, effort. So, for example, with the squat again, rather than going to 10, but doing 15 sets of bench press, you have two or three warm-up exercises, then going to absolute failure. So you do eight, nine reps, strip off plates, keep going, strip off more plates, back down to the bar until you physically cannot do any more. So the most utmost intensity for smaller amounts of volume. Now high intensity training can only really be done over three to four sessions a week. If you can do five or, five or six sessions a week then you're not training hard enough. But definitely for skinny guys trying to bulk up this is the secret. When I was 18 I began eating a little bit more however it didn't really put much more muscle onto my frame but as soon as I had that Dorian Yates mentality of blood and guts training hard as hard and hard and hard to Pretty much less volume, but as again, again, as I say, high intensity. That's when I started to put on a little bit more mass. Now, hack number two is eating a lot. Now, before you assume this is going to be dirty bulking or eating as many pizzas or 10,000 calorie challenges, you want to find the best food, the highest quality food that you can afford and what you can uh, stomach, and eat as much of it as possible. I think that people become fragile when they consume high calorie foods that they don't really know what's in them. Burgers, pizza, chips, ice cream, it's all tasty, it's all full of calories, it'll give you an edge, it'll make you big. However, what's it doing to your liver, to your heart, to your circulatory system, um, your blood flow, and all these little things will come down to uh, sleep loss. If your um, blood pressure gets to a certain level, it then puts strain on organs, and that's not what you want. Muscle building should be a healthy journey. And I've just realised, I thought, right, it's August coming up. From August to January, I'm going to have the biggest bulk of my life, get to 80 kilo. However, how will it impact my um, different organs, my different systems in the body, homeostasis? So what you've got to do is find the really good, rich foods, such as rice, pasta, down to the basic uh, bread and butter. Uh, not literally bread and butter, but down to the very basic meat and potato. That's a better saying. Uh, but lots of veg, lots of good meat. So you will get bigger. It's a lot harder to eat these types of foods because they're less calorie dense. However, the actual health outcome will be a lot better for you in the long run. And that's what you've got to think. You're not training for two years. You're going to be training and living for a whole lifetime. Now, hack or habit number three, the final one. Hack or habit number three is to play to your unfair advantages. Now this one you probably haven't heard of yet on all these videos online about skinny to muscular. And it's something that I think is a little bit um, experimental. Now I've done this, I've proved this this theory correct. However, on someone else who isn't an ectomorph or an ectomesomorph probably wouldn't work. So 
rather than just going balls to the wall, starting bench press, starting squat, starting deadlifts, which are great exercises to begin with, if you're skinny, you're most likely quite light, a little bit underweight potentially, and um, quite mobile, good, good mobility, good flexibility, and um, as I say, not very large. So that means that body weight exercises like push-ups, calisthenics, sit-ups, pull-ups, um, one leg pistol squats, they'll be a little bit easier to you. So if you can get really, really good at these, like being able to do 70 to 100 reps of push-ups, 30, 40 sit-ups in a minute, um, 30 pull-ups in, in one go, this gets the body extremely strong. Now your tendons, your rotator cuff, your ligaments, they'll get strong in the process, which are very key stabilizer muscles and elements of the body that play a huge part when you go and do heavy deadlift squats, bench press and all that. So you're not going to build a lot of muscle doing body weight stuff. Fair enough if you've got a really, really good regime of high volume and you've been doing body weight for a long while with a good eating. Fair enough, you'll probably, you will probably you will get muscle. You'll get ripped, definitely, but that's not, that's, not, that's not what we're here to do. We're here to build some serious muscle. That's why you clicked on the video. But if you can do three or four months prioritizing body weight exercises to get the body primed, get your skeletal structure and your muscular system ready, and rep, rep after rep after rep of perfecting push-ups and stuff like that, and exercises like that, then when it actually comes to lifting, you'll be a lot stronger. It'll also be safer. So I think that if you make this investment in your training right now, the rate of, uh, the rate of reward will be much greater, plus a little safer. So thanks for tuning into the video today. I hope these three habits have helped you um, put a little bit more muscle on. But as I say, you, you, you will not get um, muscle just like that. You're not born with it, you're not born with discipline. It'll take you five, six years to get that physique that is really chiseled. Some people, six months to a year, uh, but especially people like myself when I was skinny, when I was younger, it's taken me seven or eight, nine years to get to where I am now, where I'm quite happy with, with my strength. And my physique can be, you know, I'm an eight out of 10, I see it in the muscular scale. So definitely leave a thumbs up, subscribe, Check down in the description, I've got my book down there, give it a read and it'll help fellow skinny guys out.